Hi guys, my name's Scott Johnson and welcome to the Photographer Academy. Uh, we're here today in beautiful Essex. Uh, what a day for a wedding in April. You guys have come along uh, watching me shoot a full day's wedding. Uh, in here is my, my kit bag with my go-to equipment. Uh, I do shoot solely on the Fuji X-Pro2. Uh, I've switched uh, over about 12 months ago. Actually, the first time I went to Fuji was here. Um, the go-to lens I go to most regularly is the 56 1.2. The depth of field drop-off is just incredible. Uh, I shoot solely on prime lenses. It's something that I've done for the last three years. I just find it much easier to use than um, than primes uh, than zoom. Sorry. Uh, I have two bodies on me at all time. So one wide, one long. My wide of choice is the Carl Zeiss. 12 2.8 it's uh, it's beautiful wide open it's pin sharp um, you do get some wonderful drop off on it as well also in the bag is a spare because you never know what's going to happen on a wedding day and then a flash gun which i may or may not use today it's a lovely day for it i'm hopefully going to be avoiding flash at all costs the lenses um that i have here on a pouch that i use um throughout the day not as much is the the 90 f2 I have the 16 1.4, I have the, the 23 1.4 and controversially to some I actually go with a 35 f2 purely because I find it's a little bit smaller, well, it's a lot smaller, uh, it focuses really really well uh, when backlighting, it's a lot quieter and it's a lot snappier so I do prefer the look of the 1.2. I do miss the 1.4 drop off. Um, but for me, speed of focusing is paramount at a wedding, so that's pretty much what I use uh, throughout the day. So it's, we should have some good fun today. The style of the weddings that I shoot are mainly classical portraiture. Um, I like to involve architecture a lot. I don't, as I mentioned, I don't use a lot of flash when I'm uh, taking pictures. I much prefer the look of available light, even on a bright day like this. The Fuji cameras can really eat up the dynamic range. It's absolutely perfect for, um, for what I, the way I shoot. I don't really have a plan. On a wedding day, I generally turn up. I've been doing this for 12 years now, so I know the venues really, really well. So I'll have a start point, an end point, and how we get to that end point is pretty much you know, in, in the hands of, of the wedding itself. I never like to plan too much. I have ideas that I want to be doing, um, but if they don't work, they don't work. It's, you know, it's not my day, it's theirs. I'm just here to photograph them and make them look as best as they possibly can on their wedding day. So that's pretty much the way my mantra is. I just have a lot of fun, you'll see throughout the day that I laugh and I joke with the guests. So I try and make them feel as relaxed as possible. Um, and if they're relaxing, they're gonna be smiling. If they're smiling, they're gonna be looking happy. It makes my job a lot easier in the edit. So um, it's good fun. We should have a good laugh today. I know the bride and groom well. So we should have a really, really good fun. Good, really good fun with him. These are the camera straps that I use. Um, they're hold fast money makers. I've had these for about three years now. Uh, when I was shooting Nikon in the day, they are heavy cameras and my posture was struggling because I was all hunched up, but having these uh, really helped my back and my neck and the posture's got a lot better as a result. And now I'm using the Fuji cameras, they're so light, you almost don't feel like you've got cameras on you. You just drop the camera down, they're at my side at all times. They look like holsters and I'm probably gonna, uh, the guests will be on it a little bit and say, oh, what are these some gunslinger sheriff for? But you know what, I don't care because it just makes my life a lot easier. They're very, very comfortable to have and it's the trust that I know I can just let the camera go and it's just gonna swing down. I can switch from one camera to the second camera very, very quickly. I've also got in here some spare batteries and a charger just in case we run completely out. But generally on the Fujis, I don't go to more than four batteries. So one, uh, I change once in each camera throughout the day. Um, as a matter of course, I will change before the speeches. Um, but generally I could probably go a full day on one charge, but there's nothing worse than getting a little bit carried away, taking one too many pictures and running out of batteries during the speeches. So I'll always keep batteries on me at all times. Today we're at Braxford Park, it's a beautiful country estate in the heart of Essex. Uh, there's a beautiful golf club here, but we're in the, uh, the civil side of the, um, of the venue. It's absolutely gorgeous, it's a stately home. Uh, we'll be given access to the house uh, to photograph Rosie and Dan uh, once they're married. They get married in a beautiful orangery out the back. It's a, the available light is stunning. Um, it's north facing, so it's, it's consistent light all the way through. We'll then be coming through to here to the walled garden. As you can see, it's quite sunny today, so it will get warm. Uh, most importantly, photographers, this time of year, you want to be looking after your head and putting some sun cream on. Uh, and it's, I know it's only early April, but the sun is quite strong, so I really recommend some good sun cream. Um, I use P20. I put it on this morning before I left the house, and I'm good to go all day. 
so I haven't got to worry about reapplying it. So, uh, you know, I'm fair skinned, I've got dad's white skin almost, so I need to uh, cover up and uh, protect my head. Key people for me on any wedding are the ushers. Uh, I'm in a very fortunate position today where I know the, the, the groom's family quite well, uh, but the bride's family, I know, of, I know the bride Rosie, but I don't know who obviously her parents are, so I will be calling on either her brother or the ushers or one of the bridesmaids to just help me organise the group shots when they come round because it's, I don't want to be shouting running around and I want to be do it concisely, quickly and getting the job done as efficiently as possible. So if we can get some bridesmaids on board or certainly the ushers, we'll put them to work today, they come earn their dinners and then we can get the group shots done really quickly. But it's very important to get an usher on side early doors because when it is busy and you are in the thick of shooting, you don't have to run around because you're going to get hot, you're going to get sweaty and it's just a case of doing the job as quickly as they can, especially today it's going to be really, really warm. We don't want the bride and groom standing around in the sun for longer than they possibly have to. We want to be getting it done really, really quickly for them, but efficiently. Also, uh, it's very, very important to get a, build a good rapport with venues. Um, on a hot day such as this, we're going to be wanting drinks all day. If you get, make good, you know, get to know the staff well, you can just go to the bar and say, oh, any chance of a quick glass of water? They'll look after you and really help you on the day because we've got to keep hydrated on a day like this to keep the brain working, to keep thinking. Um, and also knowing the venue well, we're doing a group shot later on today, which I'll be clubbing out the toilet window onto a roof. Uh, my big fear here is always going through the toilet and getting a wet foot in the cistern, but touch wood, we haven't done that yet. So hopefully it's not going to be today on camera. Um, but having a good rapport with venues and also long term, they'll start saying, oh, this guy's really, really good. And you might get the recommendation from venues and get them put on their preferred supplier list. And that for me is key because if the venue are recommending me or you or any photographer, that gives trust to the, the couple, the bride and groom, that you are good at what you do and the venue like you being there, which is, is, which is invaluable to me. We're going to go and say hello to the bride and groom or the bride, she's getting ready in the room. I always walk in without any cameras. At this point, I'll go straight in and say hello, find out what the atmosphere like. As on, a, as on a wedding day, it can be quite stressful. Hopefully today it'll be nice and calm, but if you walk in ready to go with cameras and start photographing straight away, um, I don't find personally that works for me. I like to go in, say hello, find out who my characters are, find out who is a bit shy, find out who's going to be up for a laugh a bit later on, and that way we can make the day and have a good rapport with, with the bridal party. So we're going to go and say hello and, um, and see where we start the day off.